Hello, it's Markham Matosh here from Markham 3D, and this is part five of creating the landing gear. And in this section, we'll be doing texturing. If you want full access to the course, please jump over to my Patreon or my Gumroad. If not, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and better yet, hit that bell button. So let's go up into shading. And I'm just gonna scroll in. First things first, let's go into render. We don't have a light. So what I'm gonna do is press Shift A up the top here, light and sun. So now we've got a sun. Let's rotate that on the X axis. Rotate it on the Y axis and let's go GZ and just move that out of the way because I don't really want to see it. Let's come down into lighting, go maybe to two, give it a little bit more brightness. Come over into renderer rather than Eevee, we'll jump over into cycles. There we go, that's looking quite nice. Yummy, yummy, yum. So let's first off create this main material of our leg. So let's create a new material, we'll call this metal one. And what's the base color gonna be? So I'm gonna go for maybe like a primed color. So we'll go for a dark gray. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit as well. So a dark gray uh, with a little bit of metallic, quite a bit of specularity, but not so much roughness. Let's bring the roughness right down. So it is still a shiny material, um, but not overly shiny. What I wanna do is kind of put in paint chips, or well, not paint chips, more that the paint's been chipped away. So I'm going to select this principal shader, shift D to duplicate and bring it down here. The base color will make that a nice light color. And let me just plug that in just for now. Let's probably make this very metallic and we'll bring down the roughness right down. And what we actually might do is I might bring down the spec specularity on the first one and bring up the roughness as well. And what we need to do now is mix these two materials. So very quickly, shift A, search, mix shader and so I'm going to plug that one in and plug the bottom one in and let's just swap them around whoops however now it's just a mix of these two these two principal shaders we want to kind of give it a bit of a noise texture so what are we going to add we're going to add in a noise texture so let's throw that in and if we just go color and we just put it in there nothing really so let's go shift a search and we'll add in a color ramp We'll put a color ramp through here and let's pinch these two down and we can see that we've kind of got these dark blotches now i think that the material is actually not not really what i'm after so let's maybe bring down the metallic on our kind of like undercoat piece i guess the bare metal piece so that's looking a bit better maybe we'll just raise that up However, you can see it's very soft around the edges. So what we can do is we can increase the detail on our noise texture. Let's maybe make these paint chips smaller. So let's go scale, sorry, let's increase the scale. There we go. And with this color ramp, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna move it over to the right a bit. And as you can see, we start losing all that detail. So now we've got some very small chips. So some imperfections there. However, I think if we come around this view, we can see that it's stretched here, but it looks fine from here. What we can do is shift A search and we'll add in a texture coordinate, put that there. And you'll see how we've got these lines stretched here. I'm just gonna go object and we'll plug that into the vector, bam. So there we go, that's looking a lot better. So for now, let's go do an Let's quickly apply the materials to the rest. So let's select this top bit. I'm gonna go into materials and we're gonna go add metal one. Beautiful. This one here will be metal one. And probably the foot will do metal one, but we might do something a little bit special to that one. So let's now have a look at our pistons. So I'm gonna select this piston up here, come into the modifiers. We've got a mirror modifier. I'm just gonna apply that mirror modifier. So now when we come in, we have two objects here. I'm going to now select our other pistons and let's just press Control J to join them as all one object. And from now, and now let's create two materials. So I'm gonna go plus plus. The first one's gonna be new and this material is going to be the metal parts. And so they're gonna be really, really shiny or metallic. <laughs> so let's bump up the metallic. Specularity will bump that up. Roughness, eh, we'll keep that down maybe we might even go a little bit more down something like that that to me looks good the pins here look nice as well yeah that looks pretty good to me i'm going to come into the bottom here 
What we might actually do is go into our metal one material. Okay, so this is the one with all the paint chips. We might keep this material. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this little duplicate button. There we go. So now I've got metal and this will be our yellow metal. And let's rename our first metal will be uh, piss. Piston metal, because I can spell. There we go. So let's come down into here. This metal here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the brightness. Let's make it a yellow metal and we can't really see anything. So let's maybe select our pieces that we want yellow. So it's gonna be this, this, this. I'm just gonna press C, we'll select all them. Um, this bit and this bit. And then we've got this bit and this in bit. Control L, and I didn't select this top bit. Control L, there we go. How's that looking? That's looking nice. Did we get that? We got that. And now that we've got this, these meshes selected, I can come over here into assign and let's just go back into object mode. And then we can see this is what we've got. Now this is, these paint chips look really nice against this yellow because it's a lot more uh, contrasting. I actually might make that yellow a little bit darker. Just playing with it. That looks nice. Let's maybe make the scale a bit bigger. So we've got bigger paint chips coming off it. And how's that looking? That's looking quite nice. I'm fairly happy with that. So from here, it's not very noticeable. So maybe let's just bring down the scale even more. Let's maybe even move these over a bit. There we go. Cool bananas. Now, like I said, we're gonna do something special with the bottom section. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this metal and we will call this metal two. And because this would normally be scraping along the ground, I can just select the bottom and assign it to another material, but I'm just gonna make all of it. We are going to add in a mapping node. There we go. And we are going to scale along the X axis. No. Is that the right one? Doesn't seem the right one. Let me just go back to one or is it the Y axis? So the Y axis looks like this way. So let's go back to one. Let's increase this and I'm gonna uh, shrink the size a little bit. There we go, look at that. And now it kind of looks like there's scratches coming off. So if we look from the bottom half, yeah, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That looks real nice. We just gotta fix up this little bit. So let, maybe let's just do that while we're here. I'm going to go back into layout. Let's just zoom in. Let's grab this and this, control L, G, X, X, sorry, Z, Z. And move it to about here-ish, maybe not. Let's now select everything, control L, and we'll rotate, whoops. We've got individual origins. We wanna change that to medium point. Let's change that to 3D cursor. There we go. And I think what we can do is select these again, control L, G, Z, Z, and kind of just roughly line that up. And we can see that we've got pretty much full movement all the way around there. Let's come back into this mode and we can see that we've got our materials added. One last thing I kind of forgot. Let's select these faces. I'm gonna select this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, this face. I'm gonna press control numpad plus to increase our selections. There we go, we've selected all that now. Let's go into our material. I'm gonna add in a new material and what material it's gonna be, it's gonna be piston metal and we'll go assign. So now we kind of have a differentiation. It kind of looks like pins are going through this now, which is what we want. And we don't have a pin down here. So we better quickly steal one. Let's grab uh, probably this pin here, control L. I don't think so. Let's go shift D to duplicate that. I'm gonna probably just realign it. G, let's just put that in place. G to the X. E to extrude on X. There we go. 
and there we have it. That's looking pretty cool. So in the next section, we're going to be rigging this lake. So if you haven't, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up to date with my content. And until next time.